Well done. You have been studying mathematics and considering the main topic of indices. So far, in the previous lessons on the indices, you have treated 1. The introduction to indices 2. Index notation 3. Notation law 4. The visual law 5. The power law 6. The product power law 7. The zero index law and also you have looked at the fraction index law. Don't go away as we continue. In the next segment, we shall apply the knowledge you have learned so far in solving some questions on that indices. Your teacher is Dr. Undvreke Udosen. I will not be handing you over your teacher, so have a happy viewing. Now look at some past papers. This question says simplify this expression and if the question is from JAM Mathematics 2001. Now if you can recall one of the laws of indices that says that whenever you have a negative index it is equivalent to writing the reciprocal with a positive index. So what do we do? We write this as 1 divided by 3 64 a3 into so we do that so we have simply converted this expression to the reciprocal form and you this is just equivalent to writing 1 over So we don't need the one. Okay. So now, if we try to find the cube root of 64, what is that number that if you multiply it three times, you get 64? That number is 4. Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So you simply write equals 1 over 4. So you've evaluated this one. And then we have A3 here. You simply know that if you have a, a3 times will give you a3. So you simply write a here. So this is, so you've evaluated the cube root of 64, which is 4, and the cube root of a3, which is a. So this is your answer, 1 all over 4a. This second question says, without using tables, evaluate this expression. How do you do that? You first and foremost look at the expression. We then write this. 3, 4, 3. Remember, and then we write a small 3 here. So we are trying to find the cube root of 3, 4, 3 times. You write this as a reciprocal. Remember, 1 divided by... 0 0.1, 0 0.14 times 1, you write this as a reciprocal too. So you have 25. Remember, when you write it as a reciprocal, you write it now with a positive index. So let's repeat this. 3, 4, 3 times. You can ignore this one and simply write 1 all over 0 0.14 times. This is equivalent to writing 25, remember. So we evaluate this. What is the cube root of 3, 4, 3? In other words, what is that number 
that if we multiply it three times by itself, we get 343. That number is 7. Why? Because 7 times 7 times 7, that 7 three times gives you 343. Then multiply it by 1 all over 0 0.14 times what is the square root of 25? The square root of 25 equals to 5. So your answer will be 7. If you multiply 7 times 1 times 1 is 7, divided by 0 0.14 times 5 is 0 0.70. Now, in order to evaluate this, I will multiply both sides by 100 in order to remove this decimal place. So I multiply this the numerator by 100, and I also multiply the denominator by 100. So my answer will therefore be 7 times 100 is 700 divided by 0 0.70 times 100 will be. I move my decimal place two places to the right. So I have this place. So my answer will therefore be 70. So if I cancel, 0 cancels here. And 7 cancels here, 1 cancels here, 10. So I am left with 10, and that is my answer. Given that we have to find the cube root of 4 to x equals to 16 to find the value of x, jam 2004. We write this as follows. So we are, this is what this simply means. We are told that this is this, 4 to x equals to 16. So you can write this in this form. So you write 4. 2x raised to the power 1 over 3. Remember that this, this expression is equivalent to this one. So we have 4 2x raised to the power 1 over 3 equals to 16. So we multiply that out. We have 4, 2x times 1 is 2x divided by 3 equals to 16. So we have 4, we have 16. We try to find a common base, just like we did in the previous problem. So you can write 4, 2x divided by 3 equals to 4 raised to power 2, which is equivalent to 16. So now that we have equal bases, we ignore them completely and work with their in, in, in index. So we have 2x divided by 3 equals to 2. We cross multiply and we have 2x equals to 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Therefore, x will be equal to 6 over 2, and the answer is 3.